obviously a lot of what you've talked about here is collaboration in terms of the consumer. So in this case, BT Source collaborating with their suppliers. But to be able to make this easier, the different vendors that create the networks that BT Source use to collaborate with their suppliers, presumably all need to communicate and have you're never going to get different companies have the same roadmap because they're different companies, but they have to be moving in vaguely the same direction. How do you do that with separate entities with different goals? Sometimes, although everyone's friends in BT Garage, you might be competing in different areas. How do you actually bring that together? So I'm, I'm going to answer it and then I'm going to let Eloise because DPW is a great example, right? So in DPW, most of the time, there's probably more vendors than there is actually people who's looking to purchase the products. That's your opportunity. We, we have got to continue open dialogue. The open dialogue to me is really important. So we've had conversations today with others that are in the same sort of competitive industry as us, and we sit down and we talk to them about strategy. We have got advisors like Eloise, we've got advisors like Cyril and Dermot and BT. It is about open dialogue, it is about discussion, it's about looking what's happening in their LinkedIn posts compared to our LinkedIn posts. We all need to have that opportunity to discuss what's happening and how we can all synergize and make it better. And I'll let you finish that. Uh, I'll try to end on an optimistic note because I, I, I'm not sure everybody survives just long term because there's a, yeah. there's a lot out there. And, and I think eventually the, w there has to be one record. If there's not one record, and whoever owns that record is owns it, and or, or and so, but I think do think collaboration is is a big key, and I'm I'm very big on open sharing, open data, and I think that makes all of us better. So 